thinking about how to do this video, I came up with so many different ideas. Initially I just thought, I'm going to print off a load of stacks, statistics and facts, I meant to say, and that's why stacks came out. And I'm just going to tell people all about mental illness in three minutes. Like, and I thought, you know what, now that's really boring. So then I thought, okay, I'll read poetry and be really inspirational and, you know, fight my case that way. And then I just thought, you know what, no, I'm just going to talk. It's just going to be me and it's just going to be real. Because mental illness is so real. And I don't just mean like, um, you know, someone's got a diagnosis, boom, you've got depression. I mean the things that people with mental illness see and feel and believe. It doesn't matter what anybody else says, they are real. So I am actually going to read a quote now. This is um, a quote that I wrote down when I was going to be all artistic and inspirational. But I think it's amazing. It was written by Mary Hornbecker, who's a, an author with Bipolar, and it says, When you are mad, mad like this, you don't know it. Reality is what you see. And when what you see shifts, departing from anyone else's reality, it's still reality to you. I was, my name's Hannah Crowley, by the way, and I was diagnosed with an eating disorder when I was 13. I was told I had anorexia nervosa, and then, you know, I was had a nasogastric tube shoved in and I, my weight was brought back up and then I was sent home. And they dealt with me physically but not, not internally and it's, being thin is a side effect of anorexia, it's not the actual illness. And I, anyway, I really struggled, I went home and, and I went straight back to how I was before I was in hospital and um, people would come up to me in the streets or you know my friends my family my doctors and they would just say you really should eat a burger or oh you need a good square meal love and I really struggled with that because to me it was that wasn't a problem like I would look in the mirror and I would not see what people were telling me I was and I would see someone that was not worth enough to eat food or that was too fat for food and so many other issues going on there that I can't even begin to tap the surface of them right now. But it's the same for every every other mental illness. Um, everything else that, that people struggle with in their heads, that people tell them they shouldn't be feeling, or that they need to change their behaviour, it isn't that simple. So I would like to um, do some video blogs and just speak about um, what it was like for me growing up with so many different mental illnesses because I was so guilty, I felt so guilty and then I became depressed and suicidal, there was self-harm, there was aspects of schizophrenia, um, I was a victim of sexual abuse, um, I was a repeat offender in, in rehab, you know, like, I don't mean to say that I'm an expert by any stretch of the imagination but but I've been through the mill a bit and I think sometimes for people with mental illnesses the young like us, like it's it's better to hear from someone that's kind of been there, at least in one way. So I'm going to wrap it up for now, and hopefully um, some of you will tune in next time I do a video blog. Um, so I'll see you later.